is against us, chip nearly down Don't buy into it or shop uptown Misinformation agents all around Order borders the truth till you drown And any serious criticism of the powers that be will become psychologically Ist das nur möglich, dass Menschen, die sogar mit der Bibel umgehen, an solch eine Entstellung der Bibel glauben, aber diese Menschen sind verblendet und sie merken es nicht. Sie predigen über die Bibel, aber das Wichtigste sagen sie nie. Und manchmal sagen sie, predigen sie auch Dinge, die nirgends in der Bibel stehen, als wären sie heilsnotwendig. Sowohl in der evangelischen wie in der katholischen Kirche können wir das scharenweise beobachten und wenn man sich damit beschäftigt, dann blutet einem das Herz. Man vermittelt den Leuten alles Mögliche, aber nicht das Heil, das Jesus anbetet. Was ist eigentlich Wahrheit? Die Bibel. Psalm 119, Vers 160 steht, der ganze Inhalt deines Wortes ist Wahrheit. In 1. Timotheus 2, Vers 4 steht, Gott will, dass allen Menschen geholfen wird und sie zur Erkenntnis der Wahrheit kommen. Jetzt möchte vielleicht jemand sagen, aber die Bibel ist die Wahrheit. Du sagst, die Bibel ist die Wahrheit. Die kommen doch alle mit der Bibel. Wenn ein Zeuge Jehovas an die Haustür kommt, dann hat er eine Bibel in der Hand oder in der Tasche. Ja, sicher. Der Teufel ist doch nicht so dumm. Wenn da einer an die Haustür käme mit einem Zauberbuch, oder mit einem ganz komischen Buch, wo vorne Schlangen drauf sind und da steht drauf, Vorsicht, Gift. Willst du sagen, was haben sie denn da für ein komisches Buch? Das so dumm ist doch der Teufel nicht. Der rüstet die Leute aus mit den allerbesten Büchern. Ja, sogar mit der Bibel. Jemand hat einmal gesagt, nicht die Verspottung der Bibel ist das Schlimmste, sondern die Entstellung der Bibel. Der Teufel kennt die Bibel besser als irgendeiner von uns. Als der Teufel Jesus versucht hat in der Wüste, hat er immer wieder mit der Bibel argumentiert und hat gesagt, es steht geschrieben. Und dann hat er Bibelverse zitiert. Aber Jesus kannte die Bibel auch. Und Jesus hat gesagt, und es steht geschrieben. Und dann zeigte er ihm die andere Seite. Die Sekten vermischen die Lüge mit Wahrheit. Du kannst so viele biblische Wahrheiten haben. Du kannst Bibelverse auswendig lernen und sagen, ich glaube das alles. Und irgendwo spritzt der Teufel das Gift hinein. Und du gehst ihm auf den Leib. Okay, ich just want to this one last time. I keep getting these people that keep sending me things and saying, you know, or these videos, raw, the sun god. It ain't the sun god. It's the black sun god. The same black sun or dark star that Hitler was involved with in his occultic uh, enterprise in World War II. It's always been Saturn. All the gods in one way or another go back to Saturn because he is the ruler. He is the north, south, east, west, top and bottom. When you see churches with four pegs on them, sticking up on the corners, that's the four corners, north, south, east, and west. You'll find that prevalently among the Catholic Church, which has absolutely nothing to do with religion. It has everything to do with that thing called Saturn. Amen Ra, this, this idea of sun worship may have existed in a very primitive, primitive time, but in the civilizations of Rome and Egypt, it always went back to Saturn. I've given you the example right here. Sumerian is called Anu. Egypt is Amun-Ra, Greek is Kronos, we know him, the god of time, Saturn. And in Rome, he was simply called Saturn, which is, which is interesting, because Italy, the name literally means land of Saturnia. So, this is just a ploy by some secret societies to hide the fact that they're worshipping the planet Saturn. Okay? That's all that is. There is no sun worship. Saturn was so big so many 6,000 years ago that it was so close to the Earth that it radiated so much that you could see at night uh, comparably to a, a street light that would be dimly lit. And so it has a negative connotation to it. It's the other sun. You got the one in the daytime which represents good, but then you got the one that 
that's that's the one that you want to do in secret. Nobody does anything in the light when they want to be secret. take it or leave it. Um, so here we go. I'm going to start just with some basic things about Saturn. In astrology, Saturn is the planet of structure, respect, obedience, tradition, restriction, control, authority, time, matter, fear, poverty, and death. It rules old people, authority figures, corporations, traditional institutions, the law, and all rules. Tell me that doesn't sound like some place we know of right now. <laughs> I mean, when I look around, that's almost to a T. There are three widely spread sim symbols for Saturn, the sickle, the black cube, and the ring. Saturn's ring is what it's symbolizing. Um, the sickle is, of course, in instrument of death. is depicted with the ancient Greek god Kronos, the god of time. As we can see, both symbols are part of the astrological meaning of Saturn. It was also the emblem of communism, like the sickle and hammer. I'm sure everybody's seen that. Uh, another image for Saturn is the black cube. In all occult traditions, the cube is a, a symbol of matter, reverse of the sphere, which represents spirit. What is the connection to, of the cube to Saturn? Recent pictures from NASA reveals a constant formation of a hexagon on Saturn's north, north Pole. And you guys can go look this up. I mean, there's pictures of this. And with that being said, this was something that was shown to me on that Occult Science 101 channel. You know, I did a shitty artistic rendering of a um, hexagon here. Okay, and remember that the cube, the black cube, is a symbol of Saturn. So if we do this and this. So a hexagon is a three-dimensional representation, you know, just like they were saying. And then you take that a step further, the six-pointed star, which is everywhere. I know everybody's seen that all over the place. I mean, even the Freemasonic compass and ruler is a play on the six-pointed star. Let's go look at it. So you got th six triangles, or six pyramids. Six three-dimensional pyramids also form a cube. Another connection to that. And also, you remember that movie Transformer? The whole premise of the movie is about the Allspark, uh, the Black Cube. Okay, that movie came out on 777. It's simple new numerology. It, it was July 7th, 2007, and it was advertised as 777. Simple numerology is that seven plus seven plus seven is 21. Two plus one is three. Three in scientific notation, simple algebra, basic geometry. Uh, you know, to the third power, the third exponent is also known as cubed. So, I mean, the connections here. <laughs> It was so deep. I mean, this is a this rabbit hole is just, just insane. Also, there's a black cube in um, in, a, in the United Nations prayer room. You can go look at pictures of it. I should you not. Um, I mean, this is absolutely so pervasive. And, uh, I mean, I'm not even scratching the surface. Like I said, all right. Um, here we go. Uh, Saturday was named no later than the second century for the planet Saturn, which controlled the first hour of that day according to Vedius Valens. The planet was named after the Roman god of ag agriculture, Saturn. And just to remind you, I've been looking at this, the ancient Romans referred to uh, Rome, not as Rome, but as Saturnia. And uh, if you go Google Saturnia, there's a Saturnia hotel in Rome, there's a Saturnia spa in Rome. If you go to Wikipedia, Saturnia, they, the definition of Saturnia is the hotel, so don't be going to Wikipedia for any research, that's not research, that, that website's a joke. Uh, I hope you guys don't do that. Uh.
this is a, a quick video so that people understand that the world is run on the belief system that Saturn is God. Every, every religion worships it. Everything that's involved in your life gives praise to it. Um, when they speak of sun worship, they're speaking of the black sun. They're speaking of the black sun, which is Saturn, all, also known as the dark star. Um, you know, I'm, I'm getting these people that don't have the knowledge trying to tell me that Israel means Isis and Ra and El. No, it's it's simply Saturn. The word Israel means from the Phoenician being what the Jews speak today, ancient Phoenician, because there is no Hebrew language, it's ancient Phoenician. The word Israel means Saturn, period. And because it means Saturn, the children of Israel are called the children of Saturn. And Saturn is synonymous with Satan. Therefore, you get the children of Satan from the Jews. I'm not saying that's true. I'm telling you that's where that comes from. Okay, I don't need some beginner looking at a video trying to tell me about Saturn. I think the only people that know anything more than that are the individuals that live there. I spend years studying this. I don't need somebody giving me a David Icke or some bullshit <laughs> explanation about what Saturn is. Jehovah, Yahoo, Yahweh, uh, AOL, um, oh God, what other names? Oh shit, Adonai, God, Adon, um, all, Abram, all mean Saturn. And here's a good one. Most people will never know this. The word Noah was a name for Saturn. Okay? So, you know, I don't need to be educated here. Trust me.